Hey everyone, uh, Jordan here for Box Angle Bands. Uh, today's Leadership Food for Thought 22614. Become the kind of leader that people would follow voluntarily, even if you had no title or position, by Brian Tracy. For me, uh, this is actually one of the distinct, one of the things that I really distinguish. There, to me, there's a difference between leadership and leader. Um, leadership to me is a position, right? A title, whether you are the CEO or you're the band director, you're the drum major, or you're a shift lead. <clears throat> that is a leadership position. To me, a leader can be anyone in an organization, anyone. And, and really, I think the next level for me is it really is everyone is a leader in the organization, not just so someone who sets a firm direction or commits to a certain um, set of idea or practices. But even if you are standing still in the organization, you're still pushing the organization in a certain direction or keeping the organization um from traveling in a certain direction. I think anybody can be a leader. Um, I like this idea of people would uh, become the kind of leader that people would follow voluntarily. It's actually one of the things when I'm looking to promote people into leadership positions, you know, I'm looking for those people that everyone naturally kind of gravitates towards. It's kind of like that first process. And then the second one is making sure that their values and vision align with the organization that I'm promoting within. Um, if it's a, a band, then I'm trying to make sure that whatever that those band's long-term goals are, whatever we're trying to set up, uh, if it's a culture shift, um, because we have a new band director and we're trying to set up kind of a new paradigm for the band, well, I want to make sure that those people... Um, reflect those values, um, not only in words, but in actions too. And if you have someone who can draw people them, draw people to them naturally because they're very congruent um, and effective and engaging, um, the easier it's going to be for your organization to make that cultural shift. So if I were to say this in the business world, uh, maybe I'm a manager and I'm looking to take someone from uh, a regular partner level and bring them into a shift lead. Well, do people tend just to naturally follow that that uh, that partner level person, maybe the, the lowest rung you have in your store or business? Do people naturally listen to them? Um, do, they peop do people naturally take on their ideas? Has this person suggested ideas that everybody goes to follow? Do those ideas fit within the culture you're trying to develop? And that's that's a huge one. Outside of, you know, making finding uh, someone that people naturally gravitate towards because they're very congruent and people are genuinely engaged and enthused to follow this person, but making sure that they are culturally aligned or uh, aligned with your group's vision, values, goals, um, whatever the path that you're trying to take your organization down, making sure they're aligned with that too. Because you can have someone who um, naturally draws people to them. But if their idea of what makes a successful organization, be it band or business, is different from the one you're trying to create, well, then that means you're giving them extra, I want to say, power but extra weight to those ideas and it can everybody who follows them is going to start to press that organization in a direction that may not necessarily be the one you want to go in um so i think that's it for today uh 22614 uh if you haven't had a chance facebook.com slash box angle bands uh for the youtube channel if you could like and subscribe uh, leave a comment or two so we can continue this conversation after ours be much obliged have a great day.